Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Piyush and in today's video, I am going to show you how to completely uninstall VS Code from your Mac OS. So if you are facing any issues or just want to start fresh with a clean installation, then this video is for you. Let's dive right in. First, we need to uninstall the main application that is VS Code. To do that, follow these steps. Make sure that VS Code is not open. In my case, I have already opened VS Code. I will right click and I will click on this quit. Okay, so VS Code has been closed. Then open Finder and go to your Applications folder and then find or look for Visual Studio Code app. What you can do is you can right click and click on this move to trash or what you can also do instead is you can simply drag and drop directly to the recycle bin. Okay, so it has been dragged to the recycle bin and make sure you want to empty the trash. So I'll right click and click on empty the trash. So I'll click on this empty bin button and this removes VS Code from your system but it may leave behind some leftover files, extensions and settings. Now. I'll remove the hidden settings, extensions and configurations. So for that, I'll go to Finder and I'll go to, okay, I'll go to Finder and then I'll press Command Shift and G. This is the go to folder window. I'll go to this path, library and application support and then I'll click here. Okay, so here I'll see this code folder. This is the folder that I want to delete and this will remove all your VS Code settings, extensions and themes. So I'll right click and I'll go to move to bin. Okay, so. Yeah, so this is the next step. I want to remove the .vs code folder. For that, again I'll go to my finder and then I'll go to command shift and G which will open this go to folder and then I'll look for this particular file. I'll remove it and then I'll type .vs code and then I'll hit enter. All right, so here I'm inside the .vs code folder and in order to delete it, I'll have to go out of this folder. So I'll press command and up arrow key to move to its parent folder and I can see that this folder .vs code is slightly grayed out which means it is a hidden folder. Okay, so this folder contains workspace specific configurations and extensions. Again, I'll right click and I'll click on move to bin. So this folder is also deleted. All right, so this is my next step. We'll now remove some additional hidden files. Okay, so I'll press command shift and G to open this go to folder again and here I'll type library slash caches and I'll hit enter. Okay, so I'll see a couple of folders related to VS Code. So these are the two folders. Okay, so basically we have to delete any files starting with com.microsoft.vs code. So I'll right click and I'll go to move to bin. Perfect. So these two folders are also deleted. So we have cleared the cache and now we move on to the step file wherein we'll remove some additional data. All right, so I'll go to my finder again and then I'll press command shift and G open my go to folder. And here I'll search for library and then preferences and then I'll hit enter. Here I'll search for any folder that starts with com.microsoft.vs code. So I'll select this option and I'll click on move to bin. All right. Again, I'll press command shift and G and then I'll search for library. I'll go with saved and sorry, I'll go with saved and saved application save and I'll hit enter. Here I'll also search for com.microsoft.vscode.safe state. I'll right click, I'll click on move to bin. All right. So after removing all these files, don't forget to empty your trash to ensure that all VS Visual Studio Code files are permanently deleted from your system. Right. So what I'll do, I'll right click, click on empty bin. I have cleared my trash. Perfect. And yeah, in case you just uninstall the VS Code and don't delete all these leftover files what I've just demonstrated, you will notice that when you install the VS Code again, some of your previous settings or preferences will still be there as just removing VS Code from the system alone is not considered a clean installation. And here's a bonus tip. Unlike Windows, there's no need to reboot your Mac after uninstalling VS Code. So Mac systems handle file deletions immediately without requiring a restart. So once you've removed everything and emptied the trash, you're good to go. And just to verify if we actually did a clean installation, I'll reinstall VS Code and it's a very quick step. I'll open Spotlight by pressing Command and Space and then here I'll type Chrome. I'll hit Enter. Here I'll search for VS Code Download and I'll hit Enter. So this is the first link which is the official website code.visualstudiocode.com. I'll click on this link and since I'm on Mac OS and I'm having this Apple Silicon chip, I'll click on this Apple Silicon and it'll start downloading VS Code for me. And it's a pretty fair step. All right, so it is downloading VS Code and I think it is already done, perfect. So I'll click on it, it is extracted, yeah. And then what I'll do is I'll simply drag and drop this VS Code to my applications folder and it will be installed, that's it. 
So here, what I'll do is I'll go to my applications folder and I'll double click on it. And it has opened VS Code for me. So it is saying Visual Studio Code is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure? I'll click on open. So it will open VS Code and it's a brand new VS Code. I see this welcome page. Okay, and it is asking me to choose a theme, which means it's a completely fresh installation. And that's it. Please do refer to the notes where I've mentioned each and every step with a screenshot of what exactly needs to be done. So you have successfully uninstalled VS Code from your Mac machine. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Also, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or topics you would like me to cover. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.